So good afternoon everybody, I'm here today with my lovely friend Annie. Hello. And we are going to talk about what? K-pop! K-pop! So we are going to do the K-pop tag. And the first question is, how and when did you get into K-pop? So Annie. I'm not gonna answer her first because <laughs> I was thinking that if you're gonna answer first, then uh, I can be like, yeah, yes, I, I at the same time, yeah. Okay, okay. When uh, was it? When was it? Like um, 2008, nine, eight for me. Like, mm, yeah, like mm. when I fully got into K-pop, it was 2008. Yeah. And for uh, me, maybe it was 2009 mm. then, possibly. We were both into. Uh, Japanese rock music mm -hmm. and uh, I found I think Super Junior through yeah. that like I was yeah. in some J-rock forum or something like that and uh, I saw some pictures of some cute guys and they were I think there was Ituk and Henry at least mm. and I was like yeah. interesting and then later in 2008 mm. a friend of mine sent me Rokuko by oh. MSN Messenger yeah. <laughs> and I listened to it for like two days, yeah. and, and I was like, like, this is such a joke, like, I don't really <laughs> like this one. And then it was really for me! <laughs> yeah, then I realized that mm, I've been listening to it for two days straight, yeah. so I think I really like yeah. it. Yeah, me too. It was 2009, mm. possibly. I think my sister, um, my sister got into K-pop first, and mm. she wanted to show me some music videos, I was like, no, mm. this is so lame, <laughs> this is super lame, and yeah. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> Several years later, Yeah. deep in the pit of K-pop. The first song you heard, do you have any recollection? I remember, I'm not sure if it, if it went like this, but when my sister first introduced me to K-pop, mm. I remember it was either... Maybe it was on the same day, it was either mm. Dong Bang Shinki's Rising Sun, <gasps> Or it was uh, Big Bang's Haru Haru. Uh, I just I love them both mm -hmm. from like the first listen, and then came um, Super Junior's mm. Don't Don, which was uh, that seal that he. Uh, for me, actually, I think it was Don't Don because mm. I I saw it like way before I actually got into K-pop. Yeah. Like I think I saw it when it came out in 2007 mm. because I remember I was reading those comments yeah. and there were people like. I was like, how many people are in this group? And yeah. then I saw someone, uh, like people talking about Henry, like, oh, he's he's from Taiwan or mm. Canada or whatever. Mm. And, and uh, there's a rumor that he's going to be the 14th member. And, yeah. and I was like, oh, what is this? But I didn't really, didn't lead to anything yet. Yeah. So I think it was done. Yeah. Top three groups. First, I'm not sure if you're going to kill me for this. First is BTS. For me, like I'm, I'm so deep down in the BTS, BTS <laughs> pit. It's just, it's ridiculous. And the second one, of course, shiny, which is like <laughs> kind of what made us such good friends. Yeah, I think, probably. Kind of. Yeah. Number three. Oh my god! Like. There are like these, there are so many groups who have kind of like, yeah, I like their music, but I'm not like, I'm not such a hardcore fan. Mm. But like, if I gotta say recently, this is more like, as because I like them as people, but GOT7 mm. is like, I haven't even listened to their music that much, like that's kind of embarrassing, but yeah. like, I just love them. Like, all the members are so incredibly funny and like, so crazy. <laughs> I love to just see them. <laughs> do do things, yeah, do yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well, for me, it's actually quite easy. Yeah, shiny, shiny mm. has been my life. Yeah. It's just shiny, shiny, so shiny. Shiny, <laughs> shiny, shiny. Like, yeah, <laughs> basically. Thing. Yeah. But if I have to say something else, well, I think Big Big Su is my number yeah. one. No, my number two. And um, I think these girls, mm -hmm. are number three, uh, which is. I think this might surprise some of my friends because Super Junior used to be such a huge, huge thing yeah. for me. But yeah, I think it used to be for me too, but it mm. was really long, long ago. And I think I kind of just answered the the next question, which is yeah. uh, a group or an old favorite that was uh, that has a special place in your heart. And for me, yeah. it's Super Junior. They are not my favorite anymore mm. because there was just so much drama and uh, mm. I haven't been enjoying their latest albums that much like the 
to previous yeah. ones. Yeah. But Super Junior is still Yeah. Really. <laughs> really important. Too. Yeah. For me it's the old Don Bang Shinki. Mm. I would like I would sell my kidney to just see the original members yeah. live. Or me to too. see them see them again mm. all together. Yeah. I, I I saw like the current yeah. Don Bang uh five years ago and yeah. they were so good. I've never yeah, been a huge are. fan. Yeah. But they were their stage presence is yeah amazing and their charisma mm, and everything so so, so I I would also sell a kidney yeah. and see all five of them because they just the two of them kidney. was like yeah. mind blowing. Yeah so and think about all the five yeah. of them. <laughs> Then, I don't know if people even use this word anymore, but biases from your favorite groups. Yeah, bias. Bias. Or favorite member. Yeah. Um. So, BTS. BTS. <laughs> uh, Suga. Min Yoongi. I love Suga. He's, he's my one and only. And then from Shiny, it's Ki. Ki has been almost since day one. Mm -hmm. Not Probably not for that long. Mm. I mean, I, I liked I liked Taemin at first too, mm. but I didn't know that. You didn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> no but I think it's, it was because we were we were born in the same year, right? So oh. I guess I just kind of picked him for that. Mm. Um, I do love Taemin too, mm. but Ki because of just because of his personality, because of how blunt he is, and like the number one reason is this, his sense of style. Mm. He is just we we both like crazy about fashion, Korean mm -hmm. fashion and, and everything like that. And so Ki is just his style is so spot on. Oh yeah. Oh Gatsuman. Oh Gatsuman. Gatsuman is so difficult to me because like at first I only knew Jackson and I was like, okay it is it is Jackson. Mm. Jackson is such a like he's such like husband material. <laughs> he's just Oh he wars my heart but like also it's his birthday today. Yeah Jackson's yeah. birthday. Oh. Yeah. He's such a baby. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I love Jackson, but then again, JB. I mean, why are you pointing at me? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, JB. Oh my God. Let's not talk. About yeah, that. let's let's not talk about JB. Jackson, JB, mm. Mark. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, okay, let's let's go on. This. Gotta say, much. any of my like Too bias much. groups, but I still. I have to contribute to the conversation, yeah. and for me, it's JB. Yeah. And then, <laughs> JB. <laughs> and then, no, uh. he's nice. And um, Mark and Yuga. Yeah. But for my actual bias groups, mm. well, in Shiny, like they are all amazing. Yeah. In like <laughs> every way. They are. But Chonghen has been my my number one for. A long, long time. Yeah, there's his crutch. Yep. <laughs> his legs. From Vix, my mm. favorite is Rabi. At first, I liked Hongbin, and mm. he was like, he was supposed to be my bias. Like yeah. even got seven, yeah. Mark was supposed supposed yeah. to be my bias. But then <sighs> things, things happen. happen. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, twenty one. In twenty one, Pakpom is my spirit animal, yeah. and. Uh, <gasps> Actually, at first, I she was my least favorite member because oh. she always reminded me of myself. Maybe I didn't like myself yeah. that much yeah. back then, but I I didn't like that about her. But then yeah. it switched around, and mm. then mm. I started to realize that relating to her is a good mm. thing, mm. and she's amazing. So maybe I'm good too, <laughs> and I I, exactly. I love her. I yeah. love her. Which concerts have you been to? <laughs> yeah, um, Ami hasn't yet. I've been anything. to zero. For me, uh, well, I've been to Korea three times, so I've been yeah. to some concerts there. Like I've been to Dream concert once five years ago, mm. and there I saw like Dog Mansion Key and um, mm. Shiny. Actually, <laughs> I've seen Shiny once. Yeah, that was probably one of the best and worst days of mm. my life because mm. I was super sick. But then I saw yeah. like most of my favorite groups. Yeah, and I saw Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Then I've been to some of the music shows in Korea, yeah. and uh, I've been to three Super Junior concerts in two in Seoul and one in London. Yeah. And then I uh, I went to this concert where I got this shirt. 
in Budapest mm. and what else? Uh, New East in Helsinki and Block B in Helsinki. Is that all? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> have you met any idols? Zero. I have met some. I have... But I'm going to... I'm not going to talk about that that much now because I'm thinking about making like some story time videos yeah. of the, those uh, encounters and um, yeah I've seen I'm, I met some Yuki's members and EXO members and uh, yeah but if anyone's interested I might make some story time videos of yeah. those you those should. you should be interested <laughs> have you ever done a K-pop cosplay? we've actually cosplayed together we did yeah. but I feel like with both of us, especially these days, mm. our whole lives are like one big K-pop closet, yeah, yeah, closet, closet cosplay. cosplay. So, it is. But we have we have done some actual cosplays also. Yeah. Like my first one was uh, Run Devil Run by SNSD, Girls yeah. Generation, and I was Yuri. Um, and then we did 21. Yes. Which one was it? Can't, no, can't Nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Can't Nobody. And uh, then we also did... What's the other one? Go away? Go away, maybe? It's go away, the next <laughs> Oh yeah. my god. That part from Cosmos. Yeah, I was Bomb, bomb mm. and you were Minzy. I was Minzy. That's my, my favorite of all time. I'm really mm. proud of that. Mm. Which group or album or song have you been enjoying recently? Recently? Mm. Well, since I fell into the BDS pit, I've been just. Listening to like I've been listening to like the whole discography. Yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Well, of course, the most beautiful moment of my life. Those, um, both of those CDs are so good. I've been listening to those like nonstop. But now that I got to her place this weekend, <laughs> I've been like I know it's it's just a shame because like because PDS has taken over my life that I've kind of missed all the other good stuff that there's been out like like a uh, Temin solo album which is so good and I'm, I'm gonna listen to it like on my way home the whole time because that's so good mm. for me well Temin's solo album it's it's like it's phenomenal I love it yeah I love it so much I'm I'm just so proud of him like he was the like tone deaf boy yeah who couldn't with the bowl cut yeah who couldn't <laughs> sing and now he's just such a great singer like he's my my inspiration mm. for like working hard working hard yeah mm. and um i i especially like the title song press your number and drip drop and uh, what drip else? Drop. soldier Maybe yes soldier, soldier. yeah soldier. and bolsa and uh What's my jam's name? I keep forgetting everything. Guess who? <laughs> guess who? I love guess who. Yeah. And um, I've also been enjoying Mama Moo recently. Mm. Like I've been watching their uh, so like appearances and yeah. uh, listening to their music, and they are my current favorite. I was going to say my current favorite Mama Moo, <laughs> but my current favorite girl group. Yeah. And uh, oh. Uh, Iha is really mm. handsome. It's, it's so good. It gives me so much strength. Yeah. I yeah. love it. I'm, the lyrics are one of my favorites of all time. Like, yeah. Well, that's that shouldn't be a surprise thing <laughs> since <laughs> a certain yeah. person wrote those lyrics. Yeah, they feel really personal to me. Then I think the last question was, what's your all-time favorite song? For me, it's shiny symptoms. Yeah. And uh, I've I've always loved Super Juniors. It's you. Oh yeah, it's you. I started it's listening to it like iconic, again, like a couple iconic. weeks ago. Oh. And it was my number one for a really long time. But yeah. then symptoms came out and. Yeah. <laughs> for me, I don't know. Oh, my God, this is so difficult because, like. Like there are so there's so much like new stuff like from BDS mm. which I think that are going to be my favorites for the rest of my life. But from like old stuff, Chinese Lucifer is super fun. Yeah, super genius. It's you. Mm. Um, to anyone's, I'm the best. Mm. 
right now if I would have to say like my favorite K-pop song it would be either BTS's I Need You or Run mm -hmm. those are both like I felt such an emotional connection mm. to the to the music videos uh, to the story in the music videos uh, the trilogy um, and the songs yeah I love uh, I Need You also yeah well, Run so is good. good, but I Need You is yeah. one of my favorite songs from last year. Yeah. Like, basically, all of Shine is discography, it's mm. my favorite song. <laughs> yeah, all of Shine's music is so good. But I think that was it. Woo! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this, and please let me know if you want more videos like this. Because I usually, I just make vlogs and in Finnish also, so if you're interested in seeing more videos like this and videos in English, Please let me know. Bye bye. Bye. Annyeong. Annyeong. <laughs>